Good morning, YouTube family. Tio here, some plastic fishing back at you today to continue our lake breakdowns for Toledo Bend. We started that about a week ago, and then I got busy getting the boat back and having to do all this pre fishing for the tournaments and never got a chance to finish breaking down that lake. So I want to continue to do that. It's an awesome lake, definitely a lake I have on my bucket list. So let's go ahead and jump back in there. We're talking really our second part. So this will be the second part to Toledo Bend. If you missed the first part, Click that link up above, and that will take you back to the first part as well. If you want to look at it, maybe you just wait for the zone that you're looking for. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. Lots of good stuff to share. Here we go. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to go ahead and show you on the left-hand side what we've done for Toledo Bend. So if this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos, or if, uh, you know, if this is the first time you're checking out Toledo Bend, you want to kind of see what the KML file looks like on Google Earth, this is really what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out, show you all the different waypoints that we have here. You can see we have tons of different waypoints. Um, but over here on the left-hand side, uh, if you look, I have these all sorted out. So if you just wanted to, say you just wanted to look at offshore spots, you could uncheck everything here and just look at just the offshore spots. So that would give you all of the offshore spots. And we're going to break those down later on in some more videos. This one's going to take us a lot of videos, so I'll continue to do these. But we'll talk about all those offshore spots and why I think they're going to be uh, high percentage areas for you to look at. We've also got bridges. We've got ramps, uh, bins, and swings to look at. You guys know that I love marking all the channels. So if you go in here and you were just to uncheck everything, and just look at the channels. You could actually go in and just follow the channels. Um, I did find out from after doing the uh, the first video, someone said the grass is gone on Toledo Bend. Now, I don't know if that's true. Obviously, Toledo Bend's a long ways from where I live, so I can't go out there, but I don't think you would have put it out there unless it wasn't true, or maybe it's just messing with me. But let us know, is there still grass on Toledo Bend? Have they actually killed off all of the grass? If they have, it's kind of a disappointment because we actually had some grass areas marked, um, but if that grass is gone, I'll go ahead and remove that uh, from the uh, from the KML. So anyways, lots of talking going on here at the beginning, uh, you know, lots of the tractors and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and let's jump in so we can quit mumbling and let's go back to where we were when we started this whole thing. And if you remember from video one, we started off on the east side. So we showed a little bit of respect to Louisiana here and we worked our way all the way up this bank line basically up to here and you'll notice there's a little blue dot i changed the blue dot so i knew where i stopped at and we stopped right here where it says start here uh, now if we go up here and we look really we're looking for um, for the time zones we really want to find uh you know a good area a good time when that water was pulled down this water's pulled down quite a bit here so i think this is a i doubt that is the actual current image but it looks like it is. So let me pull this back and see if we can get a good image. Now, the problem with this lake is there wasn't a lot of fluctuation. So because of that, this might be the best image we can get right here, 2012. You can see we've just marked a couple different areas where it says rock there. This is where we, that's where we ended. So let's go ahead and start there and we're going to work our way up and see what we can find here. So over in here, there is a little bit of rock that's hidden back in here by this dock. You can kind of see it here with the water being drawn down a little bit, but there's a little bit of rock edge off of this point. And obviously you've got a lot of, uh, you know, just cover and things that you can fish around on these docks. But this one looks interesting because you do have the rocks there. And obviously there are not a lot of rocks on this lake. One thing that looks interesting to me here too, is you look like it has a little bit of a ledge or something going on right here. This could be a creek channel that comes through here, possibly. Maybe that's it up in the trees. Hard to tell, but it, there is a pretty hard line right there. So if you're modifying this, uh, you know, this KML and you want to get real specific on your fishing spots, this could be a good spot to look right here. See where it almost looks like it's got a line or maybe a ditch or a channel that's right here. These are always good spots, especially right there where it makes that little bend. And right here where this opening is, this could have been an old pond at one time or something like that. Hard to tell. Uh, but anyways, if you want to get specific, you can mark those with your tracks. You can do that right here as well. So as we move up here, uh, again, we've got another boat ramp. Looks like they've dug that out there. So again, you know, when we were looking at right there, that spot right there where it made a pretty hard line, you got another hard line right here too. So you could always look at those where they dig out 
for those boat ramps and things like that. Those can be interesting spots. And as we move up here, the bank line pretty pretty consistent. Not a lot going on. Got a couple ramps you could you could fish. So if you got on the boat ramp pattern, you've heard me talk about the boat ramp pattern before. Uh, you get on those. Obviously, there's usually rocks around the ramps, uh, but the bluegills and things, they love to live around those boat ramps. And you know if the bluegills love to live around the boat ramps, the bass are always nearby. And that can be a killer pattern to run, um, especially as we start getting into fall. Uh, that's a good pattern in the fall for me, and that's also a good pattern in the spring for me as well. So moving on up uh, up here, uh, got another little channel here. Obviously, we couldn't mark them all. We had to be limited to what tracks that we could make for you guys because uh, the device is we just didn't want to get too many tracks and points, but you could check that one out as well if you wanted to. Uh, now moving up over off this point, you finally find some rock that's right up here off of this point. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But here we go. We finally have some rock to fish around, some debris and stuff like that, some cover. So definitely take a look at that point and see if that debris, you know, pushes a little bit further out. Uh, if it does, that would be great. Now, the other thing here is if this is the creek channel, sometimes Google Earth will mark that as a creek channel. That's actually the state line right there. But if that is the creek channel that comes through there or the river channel, you're probably going to have some brush piles and things like that along this side right in here, especially right over in here and right here along this bank line. So this would be a prime bank line to look at, especially if you're thinking offshore, stuff like that, or really just a prime area to find fish. Anywhere where you can find where that creek channel swings up close to the bank line, especially right in here, it makes a big turn and then it's pretty close to the bank line. It's not really close. I'll be still quite a ways out. But I'm telling you, you'll still find things right in that area and there'll be fish in that area as well. So you definitely want to look right in here. I could see that being a prime area on the lake. All right. So then moving up here, uh, some more stuff just to look at. We found some more rock that was right in here. So you can look here around this dock, uh, just some shallow stuff. You've also got some rock that's over in here right off of this bank line. Um, and again, you know, there's not a lot of rock on this lake. So if you got on the rock pattern, you could kind of just pick them out. Um, you've got some rock back here behind this dock as well. Lots of docks you could fish and things like that. Man, this just looks like just an awesome lake. Looks like we missed a ramp right here, but there is a ramp back in there. So we'll go ahead and fix that real quick while we're talking. Move that over to the ramp. I'll fix that, fix that later when we get when I get back and get some time. But then we're just gonna keep on looking here. Now, going back in here, you know, and didn't see too much. We've got lots of different ramps. We've got a ramp here. We've got another ramp that's back up in here as well. And then these bridges. Now, if you get up in here and you can follow these creek channels sometimes, if you can find a way to get up in here, which this one looks pretty easy. Let's see you can come here. Creek channel is kind of blowing out all over the place up in here. But if you could get up right in here, this could be a prime area to look as well, depending on your depth. Now, if that might not be deep enough. But if it is deep enough, this could be a really good area, especially in the fall. Uh, you could get back up in here and they could, they'd probably be pushing a lot of bait back up in this area as well. You could probably get up in here and, and do some damage. So uh, take a look at that. Uh, also, you got some ramps here. You've got a little pond dam here. If you look at it, you can just barely see it. But there's a pond dam that's right here. Now, it's possible if you can get on the inside of that pond dam right in here, that's going to be your money spot right there. So take a look at those. Uh, never overlook the pond dams. Those are always really good, especially on these Texas lakes. Those pond dams in the summertime and in the wintertime can be really good for you. Uh, we've also got some rocks that are around in here. So right around this dock. And then as I pull back out, we got another ramp up there. And then here we've actually got some brush, but somehow it got labeled incorrectly. So we'll fix that. But it shows there's a little brush pile there. Let's go ahead and change that icon so it doesn't mess with us we'll change that to a brush pile so we got a nice brush pile there and i wonder if we pull the lake up to a, a little bit higher depth yeah that brush pile is definitely under the water so you could take a look at that and that's going to give you a totally different image than what we're looking at you can tell we're looking at when the water's very low that pond dam's hidden all that stuff so uh, definitely look at that brush pile it's probably not going to be very deep but it's definitely going to be deep enough to where it's going to be holding crappie or bass or something uh, for sure. This little point coming out is really shallow. Uh, you've got a ramp that's over here as well. And then we've got more ramps back over here by this marina. Looks like Big Bass Marina. Um, you can see that being Big Bass Marina. There's probably Big Bass up in there. 
Uh, we got some ramps, ramps, more rocks and things. Now, right in here, the, the front of this little thing looks interesting. You could probably find them in these little channels, right? They could be hanging up in here. There's good brush and stuff to fish around. Uh, maybe even an old road bed right there. Kind of hard to tell what's going on right in there, but maybe fishing right in there as well. Obviously, fishing around the marina too. That's going to be good for you too. Um, and then as we move up here, there's some rock that's right around this dock. You can see it right up in here. So definitely take a look at that. And then moving back, just another ramp here and some more rock that's back here behind this dock as well. So let me pull back, kind of show you guys where I was at. Is that Big Bass Marina. If you guys know where that's at, that's the location that I'm in. If I zoom back here, you can see that I'm working my way uh, up the side. I'm up here by Highway 191. So as we move on up, uh, we've got some more rock that was over in here. You can see it. This It's actually totally out of the water here on this image. And if I pulled it up to 2021, you'll notice that's some shallow. Oh, that's still 2021. That's still out of the water. So never mind. Thought that might actually be under the water. I don't think it ever gets under the water. Lake would have to be up pretty high for that rock to be under the water. So, all right. So let's go ahead and move back to 2012. If we can, if it'll let us, and we're going to keep moving on. So, Maybe skip that rock. Let's go ahead and delete that rock because that doesn't look like it ever gets under the water. All right, so then we're going to go here. We've also got some rock here. That could be questionable, too, whether that ever gets under the water. Uh, you've got some ramps right here that you could look at. Pretty good little culvert that's stuck out. You've got some rocks here. Clearly, those rocks actually do go under the water. So if we move those up, we're going to see that the water's touching those. So you might get some rock a little bit further out here. These are always good. I mean, the seawalls are good, too. If you ever get on a seawall pattern, that's pretty fun. You just get really close to anywhere where you see the really defined seawalls like this right here. You just get really, really close to them, and you can just flip around them. You can also throw crankbaits, like shallow diving crankbaits, and bounce them off the wall. And you can even turn the eyelid of your crankbait towards the wall if you can continue to cast it the same direction or maybe get two different crankbaits. Anyways, jack your crankbait a little bit, that little eye on the top and make it turn in to where it's bouncing off that wall. So it's making a lot of racket and it, it, it wants to take you into that wall. And that'll, that'll make it bounce and deflect and you'll get some pretty good bites doing that. All right, so moving on, we've got some rocks up here. We've got some additional rocks that are around in here as well. And then as we move further up here, we're getting in to a little bit of no man's land out in here. There wasn't much going on in that area, but we do have a ramp in there. We've got another ramp back in here. Let's zoom in here and take a look at these rocks. We've got some more rocks around this dock. So you know this dock's going to be pretty good, especially having the rock around the area. We've also got a ramp over here. That could be pretty good. We've got another ramp in here. I'd say all these docks right in here could be pretty good little docks, uh, especially with that rock around them. You've got some more rock in here, more rock off this point as well, with a little, little decent little seawall if it gets up high enough to be able to fish around. Uh, you've also got some rock that's back here off of this point. These are always good little pinch points right in here. I would definitely fish right around in this area. This looks really good to fish around. Uh, obviously, depending on the depth, but the depth looks pretty decent right in here. I mean, the water's down and you've still got pretty decent depth, so you may be okay there. And then moving on over here, we come around the point. Obviously, main lake points are good. We'll talk about that stuff when we talk about offshore. But as we move back into here, we've got some additional rock that's right around this little area. That little point needs to move just a hair to right there. So a little rock around that point. We've also got a ramp that's over here, some more rock around these seawalls. Uh, again, if you're on a rock pattern, you could probably use these points to your advantage big time in a, in a tournament and uh, really save you a ton of time. So if you want, not just doing some advertising here, just go out to simplisticfishing.com and you can pick up all of these points. You don't have to wait till my video breakdowns are done. I've already got them out there for you, ready to go. We've also got some more rocks over here off of this point. We've got, uh, as we move further up here, we've got a ramp that's over here. And then really didn't find too much going on back in here. Um, you know, it's just a lot of the sandy bank line, you know, kind of typical East Texas uh, you know, shoreline. We're looking for laydowns and stuff, but not a lot of laydowns and things to, to choose from. But you do find some of these sweet spots, like this little pond right here. If you can find a way to get in this pond, I don't know if you can or not. Uh, if the water's ever high enough, you can get back in there. But that could probably be a pretty decent little pond. And if you're a bank fisherman, maybe you can find a way to get to that pond and fish around that pond. Anyways, check it out. Uh, you also got some brush that's back in here. Let me draw the water back down. 
it so we can see where this brush pile is. But here you can see, not necessarily brush pile, just a, a lot of cover and debris to fish around. So I'm definitely go back in here and look. You do have a lay down right in there around that dock as well. That pond's like totally inaccessible there. Um, then as we move over here, we've got some little ponds right in here that are dug out. You got another one dug out right here, but this couldn't, maybe not a pond, could just be dug out because of that dock. I noticed you got some dock pillars right there you could fish around too. You ever flip around those dock pillars? If you've never done it before, definitely need to do it. Get you like a rage bug and flip the bases of those old dock pillars. You'd be surprised at what you can catch. As we move back in here, I don't see too much. Um, got a couple, maybe, maybe some more brush right in here, but I'm afraid that when we pull the water up, it's still going to be up above the water. So we didn't make any marks there. We did find some brush right here off of this point though. So as I zoom in, you'll notice we got some lay downs and some brush all along this side. So we definitely take a look at that point for sure. And then as we move further back in here, we're finally getting into some creek channels. Um, so as we get over here, you're going to see we've marked this creek channel. So if you wanted to come back in here and really just fish around the creek channel, you could essentially just follow this track. And it's just going to kind of zoom you around and take you into all the different areas where you can find that channel so you can just follow it around and that's going to take you into the channel completely so you can see it's just it's all over the place it's zigzags and everything else so we'll definitely uh have those marked for you guys so you can see those and as we move further up here we've got a point here and a point here as well that you could take a look at these are just long little points that come out you can see they got a lot of debris on the edges of them stuff like that the questionable thing here is, is this deep enough for us to fish? Um, I think it will be. I don't know for sure, but I think it will be. This looks deep enough. 2021 looks like it might be deep enough. So take a look. If you can get back in here, there's a lot of good stuff back in here for sure that you can fish around. So the main thing I would do is I would just follow that creek channel back. That's going to be the safest place. And then you can get off the creek channel and start fishing around some of this stuff. you got a decent little creek channel right here, too. Uh, that looks really good that comes back in here and it's meeting up with this one. This is another main one that comes up here. And you can see that we have that one marked as well. So in fact, while we're here, I really, really, really like that creek channel. So let's go ahead and mark that thing and show you guys how I do this real quick. So in case you want to add more channels to the KML file, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to put channel right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to, well, I did that wrong keep the properties on and I'm just going to start marking this channel everywhere it goes. So that way when I come out here on my boat and I want to fish that creek channel and I want to fish around the bends and things, I can easily identify where the creek channel is. So it makes it easier for me to navigate my boat through these rough waters. And it also makes it really fun to fish because it puts me basically where the fish are the majority of the time and if you have a fish creek channels especially in texas you are totally missing the fish there are some lakes where i can't even find the fish unless i find the creek channels all right so that's really how i do the creek channel and then after that i just kind of change the color I usually change it to green and then i'll put it up to say like three so it looks big enough to where i can see it but not big enough to where it covers up the uh where it covers up the, the creek channel so if i put it at three that seems to be pretty good and now we have our creek channel marked and we can always go back there and check that out. So we've got the creek channel there too. Now moving on up here, we've got another ramp. We've got a bridge that's up here. So you could get up here in this creek channel too. You got a decent little channel that comes right through here. So we marked that, but you've also got another one up here. So take a look at all of those and see what you can find. You've also got this interesting thing back here. I don't know if you can get to that or not, but it could be interesting to fish around some of that. It looks like maybe an old farm pond or something like that. Now, as we move down here, we just get tons of ramps. So we've got ramp, 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 ramp. So I, I won't zoom into those and just show you ramps. It's kind of boring. But as we move back down into here, we've got some pretty good creek channels. So we've got a good creek channel here. And I don't even know if you would call this a, a creek channel. It's basically like a ditch. But we went ahead and, you know, marked it because it was dug out. It's got some pretty good uh, structure to it, you know, some real good turns and things like that. You've also got a real good creek channel that comes back here too. So you'd want to fish around this. This one slams up against the bank line and then comes back up over in here. So uh, definitely a good spot to look at. Now we are now, I don't even know what that says. We're at some retreat 
Shaw, I don't know. I'm going to try that. Let's go here. Scott Vines, Walnut Getaway. That's where we're at. So we're going to move on up here. I tell you what, let's go ahead and finish. Let's finish up in here somewhere. Does that sound good? So we'll finish the video up in there. And then we'll uh, we'll move on and make a second video for this one. So we talked about the uh, the creek channel that was there. Moving on down here, we've got this little creek channel that's right in here as well. Make sure I didn't get lost here. I was moving down too fast. I got screwed up. And then we're going to move over here, and we are going to go up. So up in here, we do have some rock that's over in here. So if I zoom in, you can see it's just like a little patch of rock that's right here. These little spots in here can be really, really, really good, uh, especially if you find that debris and that cover and stuff that's right there. Uh, not sure why this guy's name's here, but you got a ramp here. Definitely a good area to look at for sure. Um, then moving on up here, we've got some rock that's in here. So you can definitely look at all these spots where we show where there's rocks. These are just rocks off the edge of these points. Again, not very deep. And some of these may even not even be totally covered, but you can get up in here with a shallow dive and square bill and probably probably do some pretty good pretty good damage uh, depending on the time of year. Now, if you get way back up in here, you can get all the way up in here and follow this creek channel as well. You've got a lot of different creek channel swings all in here. We couldn't mark them all for you because the tracks would overload your grass, but we marked the main ones. So up here, you can just follow that main creek channel down and fish around those creek channels, especially the bends, and those are going to help you out a ton. Now, as we move further down here, we've got some more ramps. We've got ramps over in here as well. Some more rocks off of these points. So again, if you're running that rock pattern, you could just look for just the rocks, or you could even just export just the rocks from the KML to your graph, uh, and that would give you on just the rock pattern if that's the pattern you wanted to run. So you've got a good lay down right there too. You kind of see it a little bit. Flip around that. Love flip around those things. Then you've got some rock here as well. you got some really good rock, good seawall right in there good little uh, ramp that's got some real good cover and stuff around it, some debris. Then moving on down here, you got another ramp, a little rocky point that sticks out right around this, this dock. So this could be good right here. It looks like they built this dock on an old pond, possibly. So you could look right in there. And then we've also got a really nice house here with a really nice ramp. Man, that's people have a great setup. Look at that. Pull through everything. That looks gorgeous. All right, so moving down here. We've got some more ramps that are in here. I'm going to back up and show you guys where I'm at. I am still over here on 191, probably almost up to Highway 6. So let's let's stop at Highway 6. That way you guys don't get confused on where I'm at. So we got a ramp here. we got some more rock in here as well. We're at Turtle Beach Lodge now. Looks like i got a little store there you could go to. You've also got some rocks and some laydowns and some bushes to flip around. All kinds of good stuff right in here then I can see this being very productive. Love slipping that kind of stuff, man. All right, so then moving up here. Now, one thing I want to show you, you, you can definitely see it. There's there's an old roadbed or something going on straight, cutting straight through all these trees. And these could be power lines too, but definitely take a look right in here. If you're looking at the bank line and you look to your right and your left and you see that the trees are cleared out and there's no power lines, that probably means there was a roadbed there at one time. So you need to look where that connects to the water and see if there's a roadbed there as well. There's a potential roadbed right in here. We may have even marked it on the offshore stuff, but just from Google Earth, looking at Google Earth, I would definitely be looking right in this area where that line makes, makes that line right there and right here. All right, so then moving up here, we've also got another good creek channel going back in here. So you could weasel your way back in here and then go back in here with a lipless crankbait, a shallow diving crankbait. Um, man, all kinds of stuff. Top waters, frogs, buzz baits, worms, speed worms. You could have a heyday with all these creek channels. So just go back in here and do some fishing, see what, what you can find back in there. And then I'm going to move back up here. We've got some more rock that's over here around these docks. More rock over here as well. Again, good stuff to flip out in the water. These little bushes are, ton are fun to flip around. And you can usually catch some pretty good stuff around them. I don't see a creek channel up in here now moving on down here there is a ramp that's right here so you can take a look at that and a nice little canal that they've kind of dug out for the uh for the boat docks back in there got some interesting stuff in here where they just dug out stuff but nothing that we we could really mark for you guys that looked decent enough to fish you've got a really big ramp right here this is the cypress bend park ramp um, you could definitely fish around that you've got some ramp 
or some ramp, some rock around this little point. So if you launched here, you wouldn't have to go very far. You could go right over here and probably pick up a couple of fish before you even headed out to the main lake. And then move it over, move it on up. We move up here. Pretty good seawall right here. If you were fishing that seawall, this would be a decent one to fish around too. Let's see what the water looks like when it's up. If that water's against it, yeah, it is against it on this side. This could be a pretty good side to fish. Um, so anyways, take a look at those seawalls if you're ever out there. I don't know if that's the thing that you want to fish, but uh, seawalls are fun. Here, if I was fishing this, I'd be probably focused on either that rock pattern or those creek channels. Those would be the two things I would focus on first, and then I would work my way from there. You've got a little personal ramp back in here. looks like we missed, but we've got some rock too. So if you're fishing around here, you're going to see that ramp. Um, and then moving up here, we've got a pond dam that's up here. Now this one might be hard to access again because the water's pretty low here. we got a boat way back in here, but you may be able to get to this. I don't know. It's going to be tough. These are hard to tell. It looks like you may be able to get in here, at least position your boat right here and cast this way along that pond dam right here or get up here, depending on the wind, cast that way, or pull up pull up on the backside and pull up over the top of that pond dam. Either way, work that pond dam. I think you're probably going to find some fish in that area uh, a lot of the times of the year. So then moving back in here, we've got some rocks that are over here. So good little rocks just in that little saddle there between that island. We've also got a nice little point coming out here that you could take a look at that looked really juicy. Um, and then right in here, you've also got a rock right here. Now, one thing, if you notice, again, this looks like that, that main river arm is coming down here and it's slamming up against the bank line right in this area. So this point is going to be really good, right? should be good. That saddle should be pretty good. It's fairly close to that river channel. Um, these rocks should be good. This ramp should be good. All of this stuff right in this area, right here, basically starting from right there all the way, especially to about right there. And then all the way out to here, these should all be decent areas to fish. Right in here, obviously, there's not a lot of cover for them to relate to, but they can relate to that point, and they can also hug up in here and find all kinds of good stuff. So take a look at this area. Again, when we're looking at where those bins are, right, those big river bins and things like that, channel swings, you look where those are, and those are going to be your primary spots that you're going to – it's going to be a more high percentage spot uh, than most of the other lakes on the – most of the other spots on the lake. Uh, you've also got some rocks here. Got a decent little point here as well. You can take a look at it. it kind of comes off a little, little flat and then makes a pretty good little point right in there. A good little secondary point for sure. Let's move that back to 2012 so you can see it. Got some brush back in here and then just a little bitty creek channel that's hidden back in here. But if you can get back in there, that could be a really good one to take a look at. So take a look at all that stuff. See what you can find. We've got some more creek channels that are back in here. That were marked we've got additional rock off of these points so you can just come in here and hit these rocks and then maybe get back in here and see what you could find moving up here we've got some additional uh stuff we got a little creek channel in there we didn't mark that one but you could go back there and check that out you've also got uh, another really good point that comes out here notice these points that we mark when you see us mark those points it's usually because it's got a shallow top to it those are really good areas in the fall so take a look at that area right now. Right now is fall. It's uh, October 31st. It's actually Halloween today. So you could take a look today at that. And I bet you'd find some fish hanging around that point. Uh, and as we get later into fall, you're probably going to find even more. So then we've got some more rock here. Got rock in there. Another one of those good shallow points that comes out. This one's closer to Main Lake. That one looks good. You've got another one right here. More ramps up here that you could fish as well. So you got four or five different ramps up there that you could go. And you've got a decent little creek back up in here, too. I mean, there's so many creeks on this lake. You can get back up in here and probably stay to the right. And this area right in here could probably be a pretty good area to fish around. So if you could get up in there, I would definitely take a look right there where I'm making that circle at. All right, so let's move on back. We've got more ramps. Not a lot to show you there. And then as we swing around, we talked about that point. We get up here, and it's just Ramp City. So we've got a lot of ramps that you could fish all the way through here. You can see these are all just little personal ramps. And some of these ramps have rocks around them. So you've got good rocks here around all of these. So definitely take a look at those. In fact, all of these say ramp, and they should actually say rock. So let me fix those real quick. I don't know what is going on. I must have been doing some kind of update and thought those were ramps. And they are not ramps. They're rocks. So good thing we did this breakdown. So go ahead and do the rock there. 
and rock here. And again, guys, I'll have all this fixed on the uh, on the Google Earth site or on the Google site so that you guys can can have these. And if you want to go out and pick these up at simplisticfishing.com, I'll have these updated as well. So we won't we won't have it saying ramp, it will say rock. So really good rocks all in this area. Looks like we got the same thing here. I must have done just a major update. So these are all just rocks. Uh, really good areas to fish around. Obviously, getting closer to Main Lake too, so that's always good. I have no idea what happened here. This is crazy. Uh, this is what happens when you make a thousand points, right? You end up some of your points end up being should be rocks, and they end up saying ramps. So, uh, all right. So those are fixed now. So then, as we move up here again, let me go back there because I probably messed you guys up with doing that update. But all this area right here looks really good, right? You got really good rock around all those docks. It looks like we're just underneath Highway 6. So if you were to find Highway 6, if you come down just a little bit, that's where you're going to find all those rocks at, right there in that little patch right there. And then it looks like it even gets more. You've got a little bit more here, but these aren't as defined. You got some pretty good rocks here, really shallow. You got rocks here. And then look at these laydowns. These laydowns look juice. So just come down from Highway 6, find those laydowns, go flip around those laydowns, throw spinner baits. Uh, square bills, things like that. There's got to be a fish on one of these laydowns. There has to be. That just looks way too good uh, to pass up. Uh, you've also got some rocks here, and then you've got some additional rock that's around in there as well. Maybe a, a little personal ramp, possibly. No, it's just rock. You've got some debris that's out there too, so you can take a look at that. Be careful. That looks like it could, could get your trolling motor for sure. All right, and then moving on up here, you can see we've got quite a bit of rock around, you know, once we come south of, of that Highway 6, so quite a bit of rock going on in here. We've got some rock around this point. We've got some ramps that are back in here. We've got laydowns that are over here as well. This is starting to look a little better than kind of what we were looking at before. Obviously, there were good hot spots down there, but this this looks kind of more up my alley. Lots of rocks, lots of laydowns. You can see all this, this stuff in here, debris and stuff to flip around and fish around. Got a lay down there as well. So you got some really good stuff uh, right in that area. We've also got another ramp that's in here. Got some more rock off of that point. A good seawall that we were talking about. Um, more rock around both of these docks in here. Lots of rocks in this area and a potential pond dam right here that looks like you can actually get into and probably fish around this area. Look at all this rock and debris. It just looks like a really good area, definitely a good area to uh, to go and check out. And then moving back in here, you've got a, a ramp back here as well. This looks like it's Bridge Bay Resort, so you've got a, a little ramp back there that you could probably launch out as well. I'm not sure if it's public or not, but definitely a ramp back there. So let's go ahead and finish right here. This is on Highway 6. We mark this just as the bridge. Obviously, you're going to know it's a bridge, but fish around the edges of these bridges. There are always good places to fish. Everybody knows that you always want to stop and fish the bridge when you're going by it. So that's going to wrap us up for pretty much zone two of uh, Toledo Bend. We made some pretty good progress. We moved all the way up the lake. We stopped at Highway 6. So our next video, what we'll do is we'll continue to move up the east side. And then we're going to circle back around and we're going to come back down the Texas side. So again, guys, if you want to pick up these points, just go out to simplisticfishing.com. You can pick up the points. I'll send you the KML. I'll also send you the cards or the digital file, whichever one is that, uh, that you're looking for. And until next time, I hope you catch your PB. Take it easy, guys.